UTC Overseas was founded in 1926 in New York. Today we are headquartered in Houston with over 60 offices around the world. The customer in Azerbaijan approached UTC for the delivery of six vessel hulls and recommended to the manufacturer in the Mediterranean that UTC should be consulted. Everything started uh, in this room over three years ago in, uh, at the end of 2012 when uh, my colleague from UTC Caspian in Baku, Elnur Mamadov, was uh, recommended uh, from our Executive Vice President Marco Poisler to invite me here for a meeting with uh, an Israeli customer who was recommended to avail of UTC for a very challenging project. During 10 years of existence, we successfully handled many challenging projects in Caspian region. This was the reason one of our customers recommended UTC Caspian office to its vendor to check the feasibility for delivery super oversized units to Baku. Over 10 years ago, I personally worked with Elnor Mamadov, the regional director, on a challenging power plant project. I personally know this route and how challenging it is. Before appointing meeting with us, client requested to advise current feasible condition of this road. I personally know these roads and obstacles very well, even every stone laying on the roadside. Together with my colleague, Director of Mediterranean Offices, Mr. Stefano Komoto, we prepared our presentation indicating UTC local and global knowledge and experience, as well as global standards and compliance. Let's face it, we had just one hour to convince that customer that we were the right party to deal with to make that happen. And the customer got convinced. Our presentation was successful just because everything was based on real-life experience and supported by calculations of our engineers. This is UTC way of operation. Elner had obviously the proper experience to move such cargo, like any project cargo, in Azerbaijan and of course in Georgia, nearby coming all the way from Poti. We moved a lot of project cargo on this road and familiar with procedures, state authorities whom to deal with. These units were not same as previous ones. After preliminary survey, we confirmed client that movement is feasible. So, we started a phase which lasted over one year where we had to go through a proper planning. A planning that took indeed more than 12 months. We had to go through quite uh, demanding route surveys to select uh, the best route to cross all the way from Poti to Baku. We made topographic survey for every critical point of pass and prepared clear statement of instruction how to pass each obstacle and etc. We spent over a year planning with the state authorities and use 3D simulation to be able to convince the permit authorities in Tbilisi and also in Baku that this transport was feasible and proved it in execution. We worked out plans A, B, D, C, which we understand is very necessary in such challenging moves. The 3D simulation videos were very helpful in negotiation with both Georgian and Azerbaijan government authorities in obtaining permits. We use that as visual maneuvering method of transport units to all team members. We coordinated with Poti Port Administration to redesign port gates, to take off the fence and clear dedicated 
appeared in order to be able to maneuver with 55 meters, which is 102 feet long transport unit. The exact method of statement completed during the one year, which included every minor detail such as seasonal issues, parking spots on the way, crew working and resting hours, shifting the hull direction depending on the further curve or overhead barrier cross. This was a great teamwork. All involved parties, colleagues from Georgia, transport engineers, port administration, escort police crew, representative of shipper and consignee were updated before each move on a regular basis. We also had a fixed time frame to pass each railway lines on our way, as some of them needed to disassemble side and overhead obstacles. Of course, this followed with rescheduling of trains, scheduled for safety reasons. This is the biggest transport ever made on these 900 kilometers from the Poti to the final destination in Baku. We knew this will be the biggest unit which will be moved on this road. We started our detailed route survey, including possible civil works, negotiation with state officials, and working on permits. Those roads with uh, cargo wider than two lanes on roads that uh, most of the times they have just a little bit more than one. All such things, we are coordinated by Elner. But the most challenging part was to build the right uh, device in order to carry this hull all the way from Poti. And this was another aspect uh, that took a good deal of that entire year. Our engineering department performed a great work in creating special girder bridge to carry out this move. The initial design of this frame was adjusted many times until we got green light according to our 3D simulation to pass this entire route. We, first of all, selected the, the proper vendor that had to help us in this respect. And after checking a few in China, here in Azerbaijan, we at the end decided to have that part done in Italy. All drawings and hydraulic systems were done in Italy. Steel frame itself was built in other Mediterranean country in order to save on shipping costs, as we have to make all necessary test lifting with real hull before the project execution. In Georgia, we were allowed to move nighttime only, and we had a strict schedule from 1 to 7 a.m., which was controlled by escort police, depending on traffic flow. Our transport unit closed completely widths of road in certain areas, and we had to pull over for every 20-30 minutes to release the traffic from opposite and rear side. This was challenging during summertime, which is high season in Georgia for tourists traveling to Black Sea. We had to move during winter time. While crossing uh, Georgia, we faced uh, a very heavy snowfalls and we had to stop because it was really impossible to continue for a few days. We had ice on the roads and mainly on the bridges. And at the end, we had also to cross uh, downtown Tbilisi because there was no way to take the bypass. It wasn't planned to cross Tbilisi downtown. However, we didn't exclude that in our report. It was one of alternative plans which we had to use during the seasonal issues. This operation was very exciting and interesting as Tbilisi is a very nice city with ancient bridges. Some roadworks that in those days were actually hitting that specific route uh, made us uh, forcing the Georgian authority that were extremely cooperative, I should say, to cross downtown Tbilisi at night. And this was also quite challenging and interesting because uh, despite the fact that we were in the wee hours of the morning, 
a lot of people were assisting to the fact that uh, one empty hull was not going on the river but crossing the very downtown of Tbilisi with the various underpasses but we were able to clear this uh, in just a couple of hours with uh, no major effect but you know having a lot of people applauding in the course of such move. That required special local expertise and together with our Georgian colleagues we succeeded to obtain permit and smooth cross of city downtown. Every day during the execution, we held a safety meeting in the morning and in the afternoon to emphasize the HEC requirements of UTC. And of course, we had to report on a regular basis to our customers in Israel. We made a great contribution in transport corridor between Black Sea and Caspian Sea. We also achieved history having the authorities modify the gates between the Republic of Georgia and the Republic of Azerbaijan. UTC overseas was the initiator to widen the border gates between two countries in order to clear that obstacle for this particular shipment. That was first time in history and thanks to cooperation of state authorities. With this project, UTC proved that sometimes mission impossible can become possible. I really appreciate hard work of my colleagues and friends in this unique and challenging project. Making everybody happy and uh, this is exactly our business. You planning and just-in-time deliveries. We proved that using this 900 kilometer route was feasible and is the historical Silk Way route which represents an important gateway to the entire Caspian region. I am proud to be part of this action. UTC is proud to be part of this project.